Capricorn, how's it going? This is going to be the person that you are thinking about, the person you're channeling into this reading, messages from their heart and soul to you, how they are feeling and thinking about you and this connection. So take what resonates, make sure you're watching your moon sign, especially during eclipse season. And if you've got time, you're rising and you're Venus. There will always be messages for you in each one of those readings that resonate with your situation. All right. I'm giving away three free personal readings this month, so all I need you to do is become a subscriber. Um, that way you can take part in the monthly giveaways. We are approaching the holidays, so I will be doing a gift card around the holidays that I'm giving away. This month it'll be three free personal readings. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a pumpkin emoji in the comment section of each reading. At the end of the month, I'll remind everybody to be checking their notifications because I will be choosing three people and be reaching out to you through YouTube. All right. The person, the Capricorn, is channeling in spirit into this reading. Messages from their heart and soul to Capricorn. Messages from their heart and soul to Capricorn. We've got rebuilding. And it's possible your person is rebuilding their life, depending on what they're, they have going on in their life, rebuilding something for themselves. Hard at work on their life. This could also be you very hard at work on yourself, self-care, self-love, transformation, you're evolving. But I do feel it's like the two of you want to communicate, overcome the distance, and be at hard work for one another. Make each other the focus. I feel, for, I feel there needs to be a compromise in order to move forward. We both have blamed each other and accused each other of things. I want to heal all of this with you, and I know we can rebuild together. 37, closing out a cycle, transforming both of you separately, coming together stronger than before, more focused and dedicated. And then we have unsent messages. So it's almost like your person goes to, you know, put in a message, a text, and then erases it that day, goes, it goes into their phone to reach out to you, maybe even send an email. Maybe even sit down and write a letter. You could be finding yourself in this energy and then you never send it. Unsent messages. I really want to tell you how I feel, but it's too late. But is it too late? Will you understand what I'm trying to say to you or will you misinterpret my messages? I'd rather not say anything at all. This person fears that when they reach out to you, you're not going to be in the energy of wanting to hear them. You're not going to be, you know, have you desensitized yourself to the situation? Have you moved on? It's almost like they're in this energy of the unknown and that, that, that fear and the anxiety holds them back from sending those messages to you. All right. I'm going to make it as personal as possible, guys. So do stick around. All right, messages from Capricorn's person to Capricorn from their heart and soul. I'm going to take a few because you know it's not going to resonate for each and every one of you. I miss you. Well, that definitely probably resonates for each and every one of you. I know you are the one that got away. You are so different than anyone I've ever met. I love everything about you. See, in your absence from this person's life, they are starting to realize that they hurt this connection. They sabotaged it. You know, you're so different. You brought something into their life that nobody else has been able to make them feel. Anything else, spirit, that wants to come out in the worst way. I wish I had been able to give you my heart. All right, guys, let's get into the reading. 
your energy, their energy, overall outcome, and then we are going to clarify for Capricorn and the person they are channeling into this reading spirit. Your energy, Ace of Water, strong feelings and emotions for this person, wanting a breakthrough, probably right now, yesterday, wanting a breakthrough. Their energy, they're feeling guarded. Like I said, they've got that fear and anxiety that if they send that message, they may figure it was never sent. They may see it was never sent, that they were blocked. You may have blocked them on social media. Depending on the situation, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. This could be things that they have dealt with in the past that have leave them guarded. A holding back. If I don't give my full self to Capricorn, I can't feel any more hurt. If I don't reach out to Capricorn, I won't realize that I was blocked or I won't be left watching my phone, seeing those bubbles pop up that they are going to write me back. Could be earth energy. We have earth and water here. So that you may know them as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or they could have that within their chart. Spirit in this lifetime, Capricorn, and their person. What is going to be the overall outcome? Masculine energy. Divine masculine energy showing up. Somebody knows exactly what they want. Has dug down deep into their soul. I feel like your past on loved ones are definitely like cheering on this connection. But I do feel it end it with disharmony. I possibly an argument, a disagreement, neither one of you being on the same page. And that's where that doubt lies. You very well know that you would accept them back and just hear them out. They don't know that. And the it's the fear of the unknown that keeps them from reaching out to you. Your past on loved ones are definitely helping you heal. Helping them heal. You know, maybe for some of you, there's a mother or father on your end or their end grandparents that have passed on, but that you knew their, you knew this passed on loved one. They, you know, you just love them. You opened up to them. You connected. They, you see, take it how it resonates. It's like that passed on loved one is like in a corner cheering on this connection, helping the two of you to heal and move beyond the stalemate energy. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, see? Coming together, grounded and stable. Healing from whatever has happened in this connection and moving forwards even stronger to rebuild this. Now, I do see a shifting in energy here that this spring. So it's like the Seven of Pentacles energy. It's like planting the seeds, manifesting what you want with this person, no matter the situation, allowing gratitude in your heart and raising your vibration and manifesting what you want. But there is a card of timing showing up at the bottom of the deck and it does say the spring. I will get specific cards of timing. We'll do a time frame. Spirit, what action is this person going to take towards Capricorn? And how are they feeling about reconciling? They want to move forward with you. I am picking up on very strong water energy. Capricorn, is it possible that for some of you, you've moved on to someone else? Because I have King of Wands, I'm sorry, King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, which is obviously you, but we have King of Cups and King of Wands here. So it's possible that you're, you have a karmic in your life 
and that they have a car or they may have a karmic you know cross watchers take it how it resonates but i'm feeling extra party here and that's possibly why those unsent messages are there you know a karmic is existing both of you are dreaming about a future together thinking about a future together and you may have someone standing right beside you and so may they thinking about what the future holds will you get a second chance with one another you know I always said to my sister when she was going through a hard time with the person that she ended up marrying this is when they were like younger um you know I don't say this too often he had an addiction he overcame it whatever but you can't help who you love you can't you cannot help who you love And there's a reason that your heart loves that person in this lifetime. It was a part of your journey. It's a part of your path. It's a part of your fate. It's your destiny in this lifetime. But there may be a karmic that exists that is keeping you from one another. You both think about a future together, but I do feel like there's going to be an ending that brings on transformation between you both. You feel bonded towards one another. You bring happiness into each other's life. There could be children involved. All right, let's see what else we can get for you. For Capricorn and the person that they are thinking about, Spirit. A time frame in this lifetime of when they will connect with this person again when there will be communication in the winter now remember that this is timeless so we have in the winter it could be of 2023 closing out 2023 but then it says try later spirit why is try later here this could be someone that you have recently separated from and there hasn't been that time for healing or growth Capricorn spirit. Yeah, I feel like if it happened more like this month or in the very near future, we're looking more towards like May of 2024. So we're going to go of winter 2023 or for the time that you see this reading, it could be even further out, you know, pops up on your homepage of your YouTube. You're like, oh, it seems like it resonates. Let me listen to it. So in the winter months, to, to the spring. So I'm going to say December 22nd, the beginning of winter, to the end of May for a time frame. Winter, spring, shifting of energy. All right, Spirit. Can you bring me any additional clarity on Capricorn and their person? Capricorn and their person. All right, we've got way too many that popped out, guys. So we're going to put this back in. We're going to take these two, reshuffle one more time. Anything else, Spirit? All right, got it. We've got children. And like I said, children here. So you may have had a child with this person. There may be children on their end, your end, a meshing of family, children. Winter, again. Winter came out. Reconciliation, amazing. And coming soon in the near future. You might have met this person online. You may be watching them from online and saying, yeah, right. They already have somebody in their life. They're smiling in all their photos. Wouldn't you? If somebody told you to smile, if you haven't ended a connection yet and you're somewhere, someplace, and somebody's taking a picture, wouldn't you smile? You know, 
it goes with like a situation that I know of that, you know, there's this one person that always acts like their life is peaches and cream, you know, someone close to me. Then my work friend met the, this person and we had it like a night at the bar and we all like were like talking and the person that's close to me that actually act, acts like their life is just perfect started to drink too much, say too much. And my girlfriend from work, when we left, she's like, she's not really that happy. And I said, no. She's like, then why do all of her, you know, like her Instagram stories show like her life is perfect? I said, if it, <laughs> that's what she does to make herself feel better. Tries to make her life seem great instead of dealing with what it, she's not happy with in her life. You know, it's in the moment. You know, you act accordingly but it doesn't mean you're completely happy with what that picture that you're smiling for there's always more so much more and deeper than the surface i don't know somebody needed to hear that all right she's like i used to i used to like want to be her and but now i in just this short amount of time i've spent with her she's not happy i said yeah Anyway, K, F, T, R, D, A, um, O, E, I, Y, and the rest are repeats. All right, Capricorn. Oh, that says Tara. Take what resonates. Leave that pumpkin emoji. Go ahead and subscribe. Those of you that have asked about a personal reading, there's some um, readings being offered right now over in my Etsy shop. It will completely reopen momentarily, but if you're interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description box, and you can check that out. So much love and light, guys.